know, if your hitter is constantly casting the bat out and really cannot get to the low pitch or they're chopping a lot of balls, okay, first you want to make sure they're standing the correct distance from home. If they're standing too far away, it makes sense to cast out, but once again, that changes your swing path and is incorrect. So a way of working on this is notice I have a T on the outside corner and then a T down the middle here. So what I'm going to work on is having my hitter try to get, make sure they don't cast out and hit that outside T. So I'm really keeping the hands and elbows in in order to get to the back of this ball. So it's going to look like this, go right there and then right through the middle. Uh, once again, if they cast the bat out, you're going to see them hit this T first and then this one, okay? So we want to make sure that they're missing that, uh, that T there and then boom, right on through, okay? Now another way of working on the cast is to put the T on the inside corner and try to get the hitter to hit the ball to the opposite field or at least up the middle. So in order to do that, they're going to have to really drive their hands in side and not cast out in order to get the ball to the opposite field. So work something like this. Okay, see how I get my hands inside and through. And um, you can do this on high pitches and low pitches, but it's really going to prevent the cast. And also, if the hitter's not in proper hitting position, they'll notice they cannot even get to that ball, okay? So if they're out here uh, or starting to bat and come out of hitting position, they're going to be in trouble. So this, this will also help us to make sure we're in proper hitting position when we go to swing and trying to get that the hands inside, get the ball going the other way or through the middle at least. Right, so the hands really got to get inside the ball there. Now if your hitter is continually rolling over the ball, uh, usually caused by some kind of casting where the bat gets out away from them and they get that roll, uh, the issue is that this front elbow isn't leading forward correctly in this manner here and keeping this whole body co connected, okay? The hands tend to get ahead of the, the body and cast away and then we have trouble and it leads to that rollover swing also. So what we want to do is take our ball and put it under that, underneath that lead arm, okay? In this manner here, okay, that elbow is going to lead slightly, the whole core is going to start our swing because we can't get our hands casting and then once again we're going to swing from there and try to get that good extension through the inside back of the ball. So uh, th this can really help our hitters to get that lead elbow leading here in this manner once again as opposed to the, the lockout where you cast it out this way and then this elbow would stay in or if the bat's coming out of hitting position, once again, that can lead to the same issue and problem. So we want to use this ball to help us to get that strength and core working and keeping that elbow leading slightly on our swing forward. So it looks like this here, boom, and through. If you like what you see here, read more about my online baseball hitting course at baseballcoachingtips.net.